Hello, everyone. Welcome to Lisa and Michael Save the World. This is going to be the start of our year in review 2023. Yes. Looking back, we had a great year last year. We had a lot of fun. We met a lot of great artists, went to a lot of great art museums, events. 2023 was awesome. There's a lot to cover. So yeah. there's going to be quite a few episodes here. So sit, you, you'll have to stay tuned for all of them, get all of your information of what happened in 2023. And maybe at the, at the end of all these videos, we'll throw in some things that might be happening in 2024. Yes, we definitely should give a heads up about what's coming in the future this year. So starting off, some of the things that we did when I came up to Rockland County was one, uh, I think, I think we did this in the same day. We actually went to um, Hal Parker's old uh, fr frame shop. Of course, Hal has passed away and right. now um, it is called Parker's, right? It's called the Parker. It's the still Parker. a frame shop and uh, an exhibit space. And the new owner, Carl, has done a wonderful job in honoring Hal's memory and keeping that business going because it's it's an important business in our community. It really is. Absolutely. To totally agree. I'm so glad that it's still that's still there. That's yes. There. Yeah. So and we we just happened to go to their very first exhibit, which was great. When we yeah. visited the Parkers. Um, the show was a dual show. So it was Ilsa and Brian's work where Brian, unfortunately, wasn't available that day. But we did have the pleasure of speaking and meeting with Ilsa, who's awesome. Yes, we did a little video and we did some photos. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Creative Chaos at the new Parker at 40 South Franklin in Nyack, New York. Michael and I are checking out this kick-ass exhibit by Brian Hart and Ilsa Boyukas. So, are you ready? Three. I'm Michael Kraft, photographer of Lisa and Michael Save the World, and as Lisa just said, we are at the fabulous The Parker Frame Shop, looking at this great show. Um, there is so much to see here. So much color, right? And you know I'm a big fan of color. Lisa loves when I say, oh, I like the color. <laughs> and there is. Um, let's see. If I had to pick some favorites, let's see. This is hard. This is like picking, you know. I'm going to go here. Oh, right. And I'm going to go up there. We were just talking about this piece. Yep. With Ilsa about it's a um, piece of a door that someone gave her to paint on. And what else? I, you know what? It's really tough to pick. This is really kind of cool. This kind of looks like, I don't know, like outer space? Like, I don't know, outer space, twilight zone, kind of like twilight zone in color. It's definitely got mystic to me in it and magic. Yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. It really, really does. And um, especially, I like that's fantastic too. And also this other piece on wood. This is this is one of those exhibits. The more you look at it, the more you see. There is, like I said, there is so much to see here. And there's and another wall. We got to check wall. that out. All right. So actually, let's have Lisa do the other wall. Hey everyone. So we're on the second wall of this exhibit of Creative Chaos, and this side for me has a different mood. It is really about color. It is the story of color, and then the artists throw in texture. It's amazing. And like we said before, the more you look at these pieces, the more they reveal to the viewer. And it's it's really an exciting, almost like one-two punch of composition and color. It's really, what I, I said to Michael before, it's the perfect marriage. And I love these small, colorful, textural pieces. They are beautiful. And I really recommend that people come in and buy them and don't buy one. You need more than one. They have to be together. Not all of them, but at least two because they really play off each other. The other one that really gets me is this one. From a distance, 
it had a very non-representational feel. And then once I got closer, I see Mona Lisa, I see Spider-Man, I see a staircase. I love Greek it. statues. Absolutely. It's, it's like an artist Rorschach test or something. It's just fabulous. And the skull with the cat. Oh, the skull. That's a classic. That is just a classic image. So I just want to thank Brian and Elsa for coming together because their work together is powerful. And I really recommend everyone come to Creative Chaos and check it out before it's gone. Wasn't that great? That was a fun day, wasn't it? <laughs> that was so much fun. Yes. I mean, yeah. great art, great people doesn't get any better. Absolutely. And then our next up, that was a rainy day. Remember that? Yes. A bit, or as I call it, a bad hair day. <laughs> <laughs> well, then after that, we stopped over at Roca. Yeah. Yeah. I love Roca. As you know, I've been going to Roca since I was a kid. Since I was a child, I attended classes there. So they really helped me to become the artist I am today. And they are still doing that for thousands of children and, and adult artists as well. Roca is a very special place. It is. And we had fun going through that exhibit. Yes. That and I'd like to mention their current executive director, Daly Flanagan, who, when you and I went, welcomed us with open arms and let us film. She was wonderful. Yes. Yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah, because I, I think she thought that probably no one was going to be coming in that day because it was. Yeah, because it was, it was a bit <laughs> of a, a yucky day. <laughs> So let's take a look at some of the highlights from our visit there, especially my, my favorite was- You still talk about this piece. I still talk about it. I mean, it's, it's a great piece, but yeah. okay. Let's take a look. Yep. Go. So we are taking a look at this incredible- Incredible. Incredible artwork by Bidet who also happens to be the direct, the executive director of the Pomona, Pomona Cultural Center. That's like a tongue twister. <laughs> um, this is his, I guess, paying homage to the screen by Munch. And we have been talking about this for how long now? Like oh my 10, gosh. 15 minutes? We love this piece so much. This, what an incredible interpretation of the of this iconic painting. It's unbelievable. Thank God Munch is dead because he did a better job at it. Than Knocked Munch it did. out of the park. And you know we don't want to insult Munch, but this is just look at the the color. Yeah. I mean it's so much more. I think this is so much more intense. It's it's such than drama. The, the drama and the uh, the yeah. additional figures in it. Oh in the God, in this, the the whole thing. I uh, can't even say enough about this. We love it. It's just brilliant. It's clever. Yeah. The use of color and composition, and Gaudet using you know his cultural background because he's from Bali. It's just magnificent. And there she is. Hey everyone. This is Lisa and Michael Saves the World, and we at, we're we at the Rockland Center for the Arts, and they are having an exhibit right now of their, um, their teaching artist work. And this piece, this gorgeous table, is done by Barbara Galazzo, and she is a glass artist, and she's created this incredible glass mosaic. And it is the craftsmanship, the design, the choice of colors, just stunning, stunning work. Yes. That is, talk about one of a kind. And look at, I mean, this is like, you need a table for your home? There you go. You get, what, two, three bar stool kind yeah. of chairs, and you're set. And you have a piece of art in the middle of your house. Yes. So I am picking another piece by G'day because this I think you've is, become G'day's number one fan. I, this, again, Yes, like, all right, true. now, of course, this is based on, well, that we know of, based on I any mean, work the way that we saw his other piece, but this is just also, like, look at, look at the detail in this, and, you know, 
there's so, again, there's so much to see. We have fish, we have frogs, we have flowers, we have birds. The more you look at it, the more you say that the story trees. keeps on, the, yeah, the story just keeps unfolding. I mean, the trees almost look like they're alive. Like, this looks like an eye to me here, you know? Um, it's great. He is just absolutely incredible. Yeah. Really, really incredible. Cheers to him. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So, I love ceramics. I think that ceramic artists see the world in this beautiful, three-dimensional way and work with such, to me, such a challenging medium that's pliable and not always obedient. And I love all the pieces in this case. And I think my favorite is this leaf here on the bottom by Colleen Vanderhoff. It is so simple and detailed. I love her approach. I love the size. It feels like having a little bit of nature inside. And I think that Colleen's work is out of this world. That, yeah, I totally agree. This, I am really, really impressed by. Marlene Crumb Sanders. Um, I just love this whole ribbon effect. And this is the second piece that we've seen of hers in this incredible exhibit. And um, I just love the, the color and here we go with the color. He still loves how I describe the color. Um, and, but just the way that they're, this reminds me of like, um, wasn't there a ribbon candy when we were kids? Um, that kind of a combination of ribbon candy and um, like, oh, there was also like a stringy kind of candy, but everything comes down to food with me, what I say. <laughs> but yeah, this is really, just love it. It's, I love it too. I absolutely love this piece. And I love this piece. This is by artist John Rosses. And I fell in love with it the minute we walked into the gallery. I love the boldness of it. I love the use of line. And I love the restriction. You're always talking about color, Michael. I love the restriction of color. I love it. It's a very limited color palette. And it still has an incredible power to it. So thank you, John Rosses. That was a great show. And I have to yes. tell you, it kind of um, surprised me a little bit because a lot of times when you go to exhibits by the faculty, um, it's it's not always, you know, impressive. This was beyond impressive. I mean, I know your favorite piece is by Gaudet, but yes. there were a lot of brilliant pieces by this faculty. So you can see the caliber of teachers that they have at this institution. It makes a difference. It really does. And did I mention my favorite piece was uh, by <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what? It was it was it was awesome. It was really really awesome. Yeah. So that concludes our first video year end year in review year in review 2023. Wait, no, year no. end review. Is this a is this is this an omen of what 2024 is going to be like with you? <laughs> of course it is. It always is. It's always <laughs> the same. It never changes. Uh, um so stay tuned for more of our visits to art places and artists. And finally, we're gonna also be talking about ourselves in one of these next and one of these upcoming uh Video, so you can find out what we've been doing in 2023. Stay tuned. <laughs>